In this example, we're going to show you how to take a thinning block that was collected with the GPS and add it or merge it into previously collected uh, thinning blocks we're taking with the GPS. You also notice that there's a deduction here. I'm going to show you how to take that deduction, extract the area from that from the underlying thinning block, and then take this layer and dump it into the overall deduction layer. To begin, I'm going to bring the layer I wish to add into view, full view by zooming into it. So I'm going to go here and zoom the layer. And before we can merge this, it needs to be cleaned up a bit. You can visually see that there's a spike here, there's a little spike there, a spike here, and a spike there. There's also what's called a bow tie polygon there. I'm going to uh, manually edit these spikes. Uh, it can be done in Arc Map or it can be done in GPS Pathfinder Office. In fact, it's easier in Pathfinder Office, but I left a few of these in so you can see how to do it in Arc Map. Okay, we're ready to begin. First thing I'm going to do is turn off the deduction layer so we're just left looking at the thinning layer of the vertexes I want to edit. So to begin, I'm going to go Editor, Start Editing, making sure that the block layer is the one that we want to work on and is listed there. If, for instance, these had come up, you want to make sure that the layer you want to work on is listed here. So it is, so I'm going to click OK. So now we're in Edit Mode. What I'm going to do is click on this block, double-click double on this block, and all the vertexes pop up. Then I'll We'll zoom in. Let's zoom in on this little spike right here. And then I'll click on my edit tool. Hold the mouse over the vertex till this till the cursor changes or and then right click and then left click on delete vertex. And you can see it shows a ghost of what it used to look like, and this is what it's going to look like now. Um, I'm happy with that, so I'll just continue moving on around the polygon. Oh, and there's another spike. So I'll click on my vertex, hold the mouse over it, right click, delete vertex, and continue to pan around it. You know, you can be zoomed in or zoomed out as far as you want. Uh, of course, the farther you're zoomed out, now that looks like a spike, but I'd want to make sure by zooming out a bit. That's eh, debatable. So when it's debatable, I tend to leave it. So I'm going to pass on that one. But I see one right here for sure that I'm going to zoom in on. That is definitely a spike. So I'm going to hold the mouse over that vertex. Right click, left click on delete vertex. And again, you can see that's the ghost image. This is how it's going to look. So now, let's continue some more. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good still. Getting back close to where we started. Not seeing any more spikes. Oh, there's a little spike right there, and lucky I was zoomed in far enough that I could see it. So I'm going to select my edit tool, right click on the vertex, and then left click on delete vertex. I'm going to continue. Zoom out a bit. You know, the more points that you collect in the field, the more editing there will be to do on a block. As you can see with this one, this has a lot of editing in it, and I guess that's one of the reasons I chose it. Um, so you can see a lot of the possible scenarios that you may have to deal with when doing this. And then we're back to the bow tie. So I'm almost back to my point of beginning, which was just down here. I might have already passed it. Let's zoom out. There's where I began right there. So we're back at the start. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop editing and save my edits. This bow tie we will deal with later on. So 
editor, stop editing. Do you want to save your edits? Click yes. And then the changes have been written to the database.